what is going on guys and welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to promote clickbank offers using a very very effective method this is super super hyper targeted method that you'll be able to promote various clickbank offers so this is going to be a free course i'm going to show you from a to z exactly how to promote it and then stay until the end of the video because i'm going to be giving you some extra special tips and advice that other people are not sharing with you because they want to make all the money for themselves but i'm a man of the people and i'm going to be sharing with you these special tips and tricks so the first thing you have to understand is that what is this special method of promotion well we're going to be talking about something called google search ads okay and so this happens when you search for something and you're going to be seeing various results now this obviously depends on your specific market uh, depending on which country you're in. So maybe let's say you're in the United States, you're going to be seeing certain ads. If you're in Canada, you're going to be seeing other ads. If you're in, let's say, in Europe somewhere, you might be seeing other ads. But regardless of that, uh, when you search for something, so here I am searching for a specific ClickBank product, and right away I, have, I see an ad here, okay? And if I scroll down, sometimes you're going to be seeing ads on the bottom as well. And so we have here two ads here as well. And as this happens to be, this is actually a ClickBank product, and this is actually an official site. This is an official site that even says so, and this is really an official site. So they're actually even buying traffic because they want to they wanna get the search traffic for themselves. And if I scroll down, I see some of these other ads here. And this really depends on the search query because, for instance, if I type something like, uh, you know, President of the United States, uh, I'm not going to see uh, search search ads for it because this is a, an educational query. This is a so-called informational query. But let's say I want to type something like buy a nice mirrorless camera. I should be seeing some kind of ads. And as you can see, I have four ads here. I also have these so-called Google Shopping ads here. And if I scroll down, guess what I see? I don't have any ads on the bottom. But nonetheless, I see a bunch of ads here. And why do I see ads here and I don't see ads before? And that is because this, the query that I typed is actually a, a buy intent query. So anybody who's typing this query, they're ready to go out and buy it, right? This is very, very important to understand. If I type something like biggest lake in the world, that's an educational query. I'm not looking to buy anything. I'm not looking to buy, you know, a t-shirt with the biggest lake in the world. I'm not looking to uh, buy something specific to this lake. I am only uh, in the process of doing research. I am researching. I am doing, I'm executing educational queries. So if I scroll down, I don't see any ads as well. But if I type something like buy the best uh, PC, I should be seeing some kind of ads. And, and indeed, I see four ads, I see shopping ads, and sometimes I may even see ads on the bottom. So this is very, very important to understand. This is the first step of your education on how to create campaigns very, very effectively, is that you need to be targeting these so-called uh, buy intent, right? These, these are called buy intent or commercially based queries. And as I was doing before, let's say I type text chemistry, uh, now I'm going to be seeing ads and I have this official ad and I have uh, an ad here. Last time I actually saw two ads below. And so this really depends. And so the big, the most important takeaway, what I just talked about is that you want to be targeting the so-called commercial queries. These are the names of products. Uh, these are queries with the word buy in it. These are the type of queries that you have buy text chemistry, text chemistry, et cetera, et cetera. And that is what you wanna be targeting for. So having said that, the next important thing you wanna be thinking about is what kind of product you wanna promote, okay? Because not all the products are gonna be useful for what we're trying to do. The product that you wanna promote, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna pick a niche. And so let's say we're looking for self-help. I really like self-help. Self-help is about building confidence, is about feeling more confident about yourself. It's about even dating, relationships, anything having to do with your own growth, your own personal uh, growth, your own personal journey is considered self-help. So if once I go into self-help, I click self-help here and I see self-help here, I wanna search by gravity and I wanna search from high to low in descending order. I wanna see 
what's actually happening. I want to see where the action is. This is actually an ad here. So we're not going to be, you know, paying too much attention to this. Uh, what you want to do is you want to scroll down. And right away, you have his secret obsession. You have Trump 2020 gold-plated coin. You have 2021 update. And you have text chemistry. You have water freedom system. Uh, you have highest, highest women's conversions ever. You see all kinds of products. And the thing about ClickBank is these products are going to be all over the place. They're not going to be uh, just very, very specific to the category. So, for instance, this product is about incredible conversion for female traffic, right? This is a product for women's self-improvement, right? Self-improvement for women. But if I scroll down, this is kind of politics in a way. This has nothing to do with self-improvement. And here you have Alive after the full uh, biblical survival. I'm not really sure what it is, so I'm going to skip it for now. And next we have text chemistry, which is uh, use text to make men love you. And this is another product for women's self-improvement. We have water freedom system. We have the lost ways to highest women's commissions ever. Uh, lots of interesting products. So you have to understand, you have to learn about it, the product. And the reason I'm telling you what these products are is because I already have experience with this product. And I also have experience with this product. And the other products, they don't really come across as uh, self-improvement product. Like I, I don't want to, I do not recommend you doing politics or any of these kind of very, very controversial topics because it's, it's more of an advanced topic. And when you're starting out, you want to just stick to self-improvement if you're going to be working on this niche. So his secret obsession, uh, text chemistry is, are really good options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on his secret obsession uh, simply because that's the not, that's the top offer and the gravity is 167. It's a fairly high gravity, but it's not super high uh, where I don't recommend promoting. It's not super high, but it's high enough that it should warrant your interest. It should warrant your uh, motivation simply because there's a lot of a lot of competition. A lot of people are trying to promote. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up and we're gonna take a look at the at the landing page. Okay, so this is the landing page. They even have a video. And this is what's called a VSL, a video sales letter. And so you can watch the video and sometimes they, have a, they even have a link to uh, the text presentation. You can skip to the text presentation. Uh, you can read it. You can do all that. The next thing you want to do is you actually want to go to their affiliate page, right? And you can do that by clicking on the link just below the main link. You can open it up here. And here is their, uh, this is your affiliate page, right? They tell you the commission structure. And so you're going to be making money. You have a lot of ways of making money here. This is not just, you know, uh, you're, you're not just going to be making money off one product or one letter. There's a lot of offers, uh, down sell one, down, another down sell, down sell two, down sell three. You have a bunch of upsells, a bunch of down sells. So there's all kinds of ways of making money. And this is, uh, this is something you should be paying attention to because a lot of people think that, hey, I'm just going to make uh, whatever that commission is, right? 70 uh, I'm just going to make an X amount, 90% commission of one product. No, you're going to get X percentage of commission of various products because they're pitching, they're, they have upsells, they have downsells, they're trying to make money uh, using different ways. So this is very, very important. And so now the next thing you want to do is you want to go to their affiliate page and you want to see if they give you tools for promoting it with search traffic, right? So for instance, Affiliate promotion tools, email swipes, articles, landing pages, banners, social media, buyer demographics. Uh, so they, they don't really tell you. I mean, they, it, it could be part of it, but right now I don't see that they actually tell you the keywords. And that's actually a good thing because if they actually give you the keywords and everybody else is going to be promoting those keywords and your traffic is going to go up, your cost of the traffic is going to go up. But because they're not giving you the, the keywords, that means you have to do a little bit of work. You have to do a little bit of brainstorming. And that means you can actually, uh, you know, have, a, have an opportunity to do better than other people. And so the next thing I want to do is I want to go in here and I want to type uh, his secret obsession. And so there you go. We see already Google is suggesting uh, various uh, keyword options. That is because people are typing it, right? There's demand for it. And so if I type it, I have three results here. And if I scroll down, there's no results here. And there's all kinds of uh, all kinds of variations, all kinds of things that we can actually bid for. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be bidding on these so-called commercial buyer intent keywords. We're going to be bidding on these product keywords. Because if you think about it, right, it's something called a sales funnel. Is that 
when a person it realizes they have a problem, right? Like, you know, a person doesn't just get out of bed, like in this case, a woman doesn't just get out of bed and start, you know, looking for this product, right? Maybe she has an issue. Maybe she has uh, an issue with various relationships. She, she starts researching various options. She starts researching solutions to her issues, to her problems, to, to different things. And that is how, um, that is where it all begins. She doesn't just, you know, get up. No, nobody just get, gets up and starts researching for the product name. But because this person, because whoever it is, they're, re they're typing the exact product name, that means that they've, they've realized, okay, they have a problem, they're looking for an answer, and the answer is uh, more or less is going to be in this product or in this service. And so this is kind of, they're almost at the end of their buyer's journey or a sales journey or whatever you want to call it which means that if you bid on these keywords, somebody typing these keywords specifically, they're looking to buy. They have their credit card out, they have their money out, they're looking to spend. This is a lot better than if, you know, a woman was something was typing something like, how do I get a guy to chase you? Or something like this, right? Somebody typing somebody something like this, they're just at the beginning of their journey, right? They're not, they haven't really decided. They're not even sure if they want to buy a product. They don't even know what kind of products are available. So this is just the beginning stage. But somebody who is typing the name of the product or actually buy his secret obsession, uh, they're ready to spend. And that is why you see ads, right? There's three ads here. You also have some ads here. Uh, if you scroll down, there's no ads again, which is absolutely fine, but we have three ads here. So this is very, very important thing to understand is that you have three ads here and then you have no ads here. But the point that I want to drive here is that somebody typing these phrases or combination of these phrases are ready to buy. They're, they're almost ready to buy. They're, they're maybe looking for some deals. Maybe they're looking for some discounts. They're looking for the best place to buy. They're looking maybe for you know, a, a different option. Maybe they're looking for bonuses as well. And this is something we're going to be talking about later on. And so these are the keywords you want to bid on. Okay. Very, very important to understand. And so what we want to do is we're going to go into Google and we're going to, we're going to create a campaign for this product. And then we're going to link to another page that I'm going to show. We're going to link, link to an intermediary page. And that page is going to redirect them to the ClickBank offer. And if they buy it, we're going to get a really, really nice commission from all upsells and downsell. So here I am in my Google Ads main page and we're gonna create a campaign together step by step. And so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go into search campaigns and you wanna click on new campaign. I'm gonna hit new campaign and we are gonna create this new campaign together step by step. We're gonna do website traffic, we're gonna hit search and we don't really need to type anything here. We're going to hit continue and we're going to name this campaign his one. That, that's a, It's short for his secret obsession. So there's a search network and there's include Google search partners. You can leave this, but I highly recommend deselecting this because we don't want anything to do with the display network. Okay. We are going to pick United States here. Uh, we're going to choose English here. We're not going to choose anything here. That's fine. Uh, budget is how much do we want to spend per day? We're going to say, let's say you want to spend $20 per day or $10 per day, okay? We are going to be bidding for uh, clicks in this case. You can also pick conversions if you want. Uh, we're going to hit save and continue. Uh, and we're going to be setting up our ad groups. This is very, very important. The ad groups and the ads are very, very important. They're equally important. So it's important for you guys to understand how they work. And so I'm just going to call this AG1, which, stand, which stands for ad group one. And what we want to do is there's a couple of ways of doing it. And there's a, there's an entire science all in itself. Okay. But let's do this. And so in order to set up the keywords correctly, what you want to do is you want to go into Google and you want to search for this keyword mixer tool. Very, very important. And what we're going to be typing here is we're going to be typing two types of keywords. We're going to be typing the broad match keyword, and we are going to be typing uh, an exact match keyword. Okay, so for instance, let's brainstorm about some keywords. So if I go into Google and I type by his secret obsession, we have, this is a great keyword. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter it here, and then I'm going to also look at some other keywords. If I type his secret obsession, which is also a commercially intent, commercially viable keyword. We have that. We have Reddit. We have all of these. We don't need any of. The, we, we don't need anything like that. Reviews is good. So we're gonna go and we're gonna type his secret obsession. 
we're also going to do purchase his secret obsession, okay? Another way you can set it up is you can type, you can just do something like this. You can put buy and you can put purchase here. And it tells you we have three combinations possible. It creates combinations for us. And so this is very, very useful. Uh, sell, sale, right? Coupons, discounts, okay? His secret obsession. And let's go into Google, see what else is Google is suggesting. If you scroll down, phrases, leaked, uh, hero instinct. We don't, need, we don't need anything that has free in it. We don't need anything that has revealed in it or that has leaked in it because these are people that are looking for free content and we're selling content. So if they click on one of our search results and they're expecting free content and then they see a landing page where they have to pay for something, they're going to go back and we are going to lose that click that we're paying for. Remember, this is pay-per-click. And so you're going to go back here. Uh, you're going to look at uh, what else we have. If we click on this, we have more reviews. Uh, we have, yeah, we can, you can even do reviews. That's fine. We're going to put our uh, reviews. And now we have seven combinations. We're going to hit merge. And now we have keywords that we can use. So I'm going to copy this. And the next thing I want to do is I want to search for a tool called keyword toaster. Very important tool. And I'm going to show you exactly what it does. And I'm going to go in here. I type keyword toaster. I'm going to go in here. This is a very, very important tool. And so what I want to do is I want to go back here. I want to select all the keywords. I want to paste them here. And what I want to do is I want to deselect everything. So I'm going to deselect, right? It's all deselected. As you can see, it's light color, light yellow, light brownish color. And I'm going to select broad, modified, and exact match. And now I have 14 keywords. And I'm going to explain to you exactly why that is. I'm going to paste them here. And these, these first type of keywords with the plus prepended to each word, that's called a broad modified, okay? Broad modified, right? And the second type, these are called phrase match, okay? And so, and so it's important to understand that if you have a keyword, so for instance, let's go back to this keyword mixer tool. If you just enter this keyword, it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's not gonna end well for you because this, what this means is that Google is gonna show our ad if people type exactly this, or if they type something else, or if they type some of the words, not all the words. So it's gonna be all over the place. And we do not want that. We only want our ad to be shown when all of these words are shown in any order, and they don't have to be together. It's very, very important to understand that. And that's what Broad Modify does. So if we go back to our campaign uh, screen here, this is what Broad Modify. The, the exact match does exactly what it, what it, exactly what the name says. When so, and somebody needs to type this search phrase exactly how it is, all the words needs, need to be there and they have to be in the exact order and they have to be together. So that is absolutely fine. So, so in a way, we're casting a wide net. We want to catch uh, keyword phrases that are similar but very, very close which is what this broad modify does, but we also want to catch keywords that are exact match, okay? So that way we're, we're casting a wide enough net because people that are type exact, exact match keywords, this exact phrase are gonna be a smaller amount than the people that are gonna be typing all kinds of variations. And that is why we wanna catch, uh, cast a wide enough net. So we're gonna hit save and continue, and we are gonna be creating one of our ads as well. And so. Here we have the ad group, and now we have to create an ad, right? So we're gonna scroll down, and we're gonna create the first ad. We have to create an ad here for this specific ad group. And the way you wanna think about it is that an ad group could have multiple ads, and you can have multiple ad groups for a specific campaign. It's like a tree structure. At the top you have campaign, then you can have one or more ad groups, and then for each ad group, you can have one, of more, one or more ads. Very, very important to understand. Here we have the display URL. This is where you enter your final URL, which I'm going to show you in a second. So let's say, you know, your site is uh, news.com. Uh, you're going to be entering, obviously, your final URL here. And then you have the headline here. You can have multiple headlines. And it tells us, you know, it even gives us ideas based on your website and existing ads. And so, obviously, you're going to be entering a brand new website. And you're not going to have any existing ads. So it's not going to know what to do but you can have a new headline and you can put something like, um, actually, you can even look at what people are typing right now, right? So you can put his secret obsession review, 
his secret obsession. And you also want to create bonuses. Bonuses are very, very important because that's going to differentiate your ad from other ads. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can create bonuses as well. So you can put his secret obsession and then you can put something like, uh, 60% off or something, well, whatever, whatever the promise that they're making on ClickBank or the landing page, 75% off, get it. And you can put something like, and get it right away. Okay. You can put something like this, his secret obsession, get it right away, 75% off, or you can put it like something like this. You can have, get it right away. His secret obsession, get it right away, 75% off. Then you can have description. This is a description and you can learn more about the description here, right? Access, we're all about honest reviews, discover his secret obsession. So you can potentially take this and then reword it, right? You can reword it, put it into your own words. Do not copy and paste it. That is not something you should be doing. You should do something like this. And then you can hit save and continue. And now you created one ad. One ad is good enough. It's one ad is good enough. And so it wants, it wants a new description here. So this could be uh, the best product. Learn how to get your man obsessed. Something like this, right? And now you can do save and continue. And now it approved the campaign and it's asking us uh, what is going to be our cost budget, all of that. And, that. and the next thing you want to do is you want to click publish and you're going to be ready to go. But before you do that, it's very, very important to create something that's what's called a landing page, which is an intermediary page that you're going to be presenting to Google. So when somebody goes in here, they're going to type, they're going to click on it. And this is going to be a landing page that you create. And then from that landing page, they're going to be redirected to the offer. It's not a good idea to directly link to the offer this way. And so that is kind of what you want to do. And the best way to do it, there's a couple of ways of doing, okay? One way to do it is by going to wordpress.com and creating a free account, okay? I've made multiple videos about creating a landing page, so I don't want to do it here because if I do it, this video is going to be several hours long. So what you can do is Welcome to the world's most popular website builder. And they have a very, very generous free plan. In fact, a lot of people use this thing to create free websites. So you can simply hit get started and you can create your free website. Another option is you can go to medium.com, which is kind of like WordPress, very, very similar. And you can go here. I already have an account. I can go in here and I can click on write a story and I can create a brand new story. Very, very simple. So it's really up to you which way you want to go. You can create two landing pages if you want. Once you create that landing page, and if you need ideas for creating the landing page, just click on one of these ads and you're going to have an idea how to create this landing page. Another really solid way to create a landing page is by looking at what the actual uh, merchant did, right? Now, do not copy this landing page. Never do that. I'm just telling you to look at it, to read it, to get an idea of what it needs to be. It doesn't need to be this long. It doesn't need to be this elaborate. It does not need to have all these elements of a landing page. You can make it five times shorter, but the point is uh, you do need a landing page. Once you create the landing page, you're going you're gonna to link your Google ads to this page. So let's say you created it on Medium. You're going to type it in. You're going to fill it out. I recommend making it at least 1,000 words. So the, the golden rule is at least a thousand words. If you make it 2000 words, even better, because this official landing page is very, very long. Uh, it's a lot, it's a lot longer than a thousand or 2000, probably like three to 4,000 words. But if you can create a landing page with a thousand words, that's going to be really, really good. Uh, Google is going to take you seriously. The consumers are going to take you seriously. ClickBank is going to take you seriously. Everybody's going to take you seriously. And it's going to be a lot better outcome for everybody. And so I recommend you can just use medium if you want. A lot of people use medium. In fact, when you search for various products, you're going to find a lot of medium results here. And so once you finish creating the landing page, you're going to link it here. You're going to link the full URL here. You're going to have a landing page. You're going to be sending this traffic to the landing page. And on the landing page, you're going to be redirecting to the ClickBank offer, which is exactly what a lot of these super affiliates do. A lot of these people that buy traffic do. And that is the way to do it. All right, guys. So that is all that I wanted to show you in this video. I really, really hope you've gotten value here. 
Let me know below in the comments if you want to see me talking about other methods such as Facebook ads, Quora, uh, YouTube. YouTube is a very, very nice free traffic source. Maybe Twitter, maybe some kind of social media. And I will go deeper into this, into this video. Let me also, let me know if you want to promote other niches. If you have questions about promoting other products, I would definitely help you out and give you my personal opinion. All right, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy this kind of content, you want to support this channel, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you leave a comment below. It doesn't matter if you like this video or didn't like this video. I'm open to all comments. I do not censor any, any comments, any feedback. I respect all feedback as long as it's, it's constructive criticism. All right, guys. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out some of the other videos that you're going to be seeing on the right hand of the screen. And once again, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.